All right, number nine turns out we've been uh, lied to. Most people know that tomatoes and avocados are technically fruits, not vegetables. That's because they have seeds. Sure. Well, we have some news about the banana. Apparently, it's a berry. What? The banana flower contains one ovary, which grows into a single banana. Uh, that's what makes it a berry. Bananas are still a fruit, and botanically, it's called a simple fruit. Now, get this. Strawberries and raspberries are not berries, what? technically. That's because they come from a single flower with more than one ovary, which makes them aggregate fruits. Oh, this is the thing. Goodness. All the things that we believe to be yeah. true, that people are pushing down, our, it turns out half of it's a lie. Yeah, and <laughs> you should be eating this stuff unless you know what you're talking about. Yeah. They named it a strawberry. And it's not a berry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now that's, think about that for. What else are they lying to us about? Right. That's a bait and yeah. switch right it there. It is a bait yeah. and switch. <laughs> Dear Lord. I don't know, Morgan's not here, so is oh, that I'll take you? this. Yeah, I think okay. I'm, uh, right. I'm filling in for her. Uh, number eight. <laughs> <laughs> uh, She'll be back tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Check this out. It's a 1954 <laughs> Oldsmobile F88. The two-seat convertible was a concept car. Only three of them were made. Bodies made of fiberglass, and it's on the same frame as the Corvette. And now this one is up for auction and could fetch up to $3 million. Wow. Uh, that's pretty cool. Wow. All right, number seven, Hank Aaron hit 755 home runs in his baseball career without any performance-enhancing drugs. He is third on the all-time hits list. He's fourth on the list of runs scored. The case can certainly be made that he was in the top three of all-time best players ever. But this letter shows his uncommon grace and decency. A fan named George Mudo sent Aaron a letter of support because Hank was facing terrible racism as he was about to break Babe Ruth's home run record in 1973. And Hank Aaron wrote him back on Atlanta Brave stationery. He said, Dear Mr. Mudo, I want you to know how much how very much I appreciate the concern and best wishes of people like yourself. If you will excuse my sentimentality, your letter of support and encouragement meant much more to me than I can adequately express in words. It is very heartwarming to know that you're in my corner. And this, as the so-called countdown begins, please be assured I will try to live up to the expectations of my friends. Wishing for you only the best, I am most sincerely Hank Aaron. Mm. Yeah, wow. That's great. Unbelievable. Yeah. Mm. And you know what he did when he broke the home run record? He ran all the bases and touched home. Yeah. And went back to the dugout. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Acted yeah. like he'd been That's there. That's right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A couple guys trying to tackle him between That's second true. and third. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I love that. Yeah. 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 Escort him around right. the bases. Uh, number six, we, we have peaked as a species. Yeah. I, I didn't want to have to break the news to everybody, but uh, refillable toothpaste tubes are here. Oh this is the Matador refillable toothpaste tube. It's food safe, BPA free, and PVC free, which is good. Those are all good things. Okay. Yeah. Uh, they're also TSA approved. So how's it worked? Well, the end of the tube isn't closed, so you fill it up, and then there's a clip you use to dispense, and then that's it. These will run you ten bucks. Hmm. Huh? But it looks like the stuff that's refilling the tube is coming from another tube. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Which, that one is not refillable. Right. Details, details. Yeah. Why well, you got to yeah. ruin a good story? I'm sorry. Right? Yeah. You're right, though. Number five from the Spanish YouTube channel, La Casa de la Ciencia. Oh, it's a good one. Here's a look at an Ames room. Oh, look at, that. Look at this. So what is happening here? It's an optical illusion. An American what? scientist named Ames created the first one in the 40s. It looks like it's a normal rectangular room, but it's actually a hexahedron. No, no way! way. It's a hexahedron. Uh, the geometry of the room is designed in such a way to trick the eye. One corner of the room is actually much farther away, so the optical illusion is created, in part because one corner of the room is farther from the observer than the He's other. He's doing a great job catching as is he. Yeah. Look how nicely they're playing together. That is really cool. Yeah. Wait, wait. Oh, wait a minute. The illusion is... Uh, now she's a giant. <laughs> yeah. Look at this. Textbook chess passing, too. Yeah, yeah. really good. Boy. How much fun they're having. Uh, and for them to get these prison convicts out of jail to participate <laughs> in this, how fun. Yeah. Wow, that's cool. Uh, uh, what's next? All right. How small the ball gets and big. Yeah. 
I think that guy just came off a fishing charter. <laughs> like, hey, I got some fish sticks for you. Okay. This oh, is there we go. fun. Yeah, That's yeah, right. fun. Mm. Boy, TV's fun, isn't it? Yep. Yeah, sure can be. All right, number four. Uh, turns out you should be comparing your partner to your ex. That's according to dating scientists. Usually it's bad form to compare fresh dating prospects to your old flame, but it all depends on what you're looking at. A relationship specialist says it's good to compare how you feel with the new partner versus how you felt with the old one. You probably shouldn't compare communication styles, but it is okay to compare emotional availability and see if it is the right fit for you. Finally, it's probably not smart to compare habits. Your new lover probably won't make the coffee the same way your old lover did. So, <laughs> is that I, code for something? I think it is, yeah. <laughs> she doesn't yeah. stir it like my old one. <laughs> right. yeah. There's a lot there. Yeah. Oh, she's hot, but boy, that coffee. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Bitter. All right, number three. You might not be ready for this in this video. I don't know if I like this. You're going to see that snails eat. They okay. eat bark, fruit, leaves, stems. They even eat worms. They're right. considered omnivorous scavengers. Here is an extreme close-up of a snail eating, and it's sped up a bit. All right. Don't you tell me you're full, just eat it. Oh, oh, what is going on? Someone's using, is that cocaine? Yeah. <laughs> They're big coke users. Always have been. Look at that. That snail got a lot faster after that. Yeah. Meal, huh? yeah. There's more cocaine there. Oh, Colombian band band. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. I'm out of the way. We gotta clean the house now. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna write that book. <laughs> hey, it keeps oh, coming. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna run a marathon. <laughs> Is that asparagus or a green bean? I don't know, but this is fabulous. Oh man. Well, they're not the most attractive looking things out there. Right. It's all about looks for you. It is. It's I'm shallow. That's you're why so shallow. it's because you're here well, because when, of your yeah. looks. Yeah. You can't help <laughs> it. It's the lens I see the world through. Yeah. Uh, number two, we've been talking about kids' uh, morning TV shows this week. Uh, here's a look at a lost psychedelic theme park from 1976, the world of Sid and Marty Croft. Uh, the Croft brothers did shows like H.R. Puffin stuff, Land of the Lost, uh, the Bugaloos. The park was in Atlanta in a complex that would later become the CNN Center. Oh. It's an eight-story, entirely indoor amusement park. It, uh, at this place, kids could become part of a human pinball game and ride a crystal unicorn carousel, <laughs> or they could watch in delight as a giant Elton John puppet descended <laughs> upon the crowd from Are the ceiling kidding? above. <laughs> it cost $20 million to build, but it closed after three months. Oh, come on. Three months. Oh, awesome. Give it a chance. Mike, were those guys stoned all the time? <laughs> they would have had to have been. I don't understand how a park like that would fail back then. I know. Yeah. The well, shows were super popular. Do you remember old Chicago? Yeah. Yes. That, that, that was only open either, for yeah. like a year or mm -hmm. something, wasn't yeah, it? Well, it was an all was indoor time. mall yeah. in amusement Bolingbrook. park it was. in Bolingbrook. In Bolingbrook, yeah. 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 Used to go there after White Fence Farm for a treat, but oh, my father wouldn't let oh. us ride any of the rides. Too expensive. You could <laughs> yeah. just look at them. Oh, for crying out loud. It's almost as fun. It's almost as rewarding. It didn't affect me at all, though. It's You're it's fine. Right. Yeah. What did he do with all the tile money? I mean, <laughs> there was no tile money. I don't know what you're That's how you're the king. You don't spend right. it all. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't that still yeah. cause brain damage? Oh, uh, number one, we're a big fan of mashups on this show. Uh, we will uh, show you this. Here's a mashup of the B-52's Rock Lobster and Slayer's Raining Blood. Yeah. Beautiful. Very oh. good. Genius. That's 
good start. You can bring that one to church this weekend, yeah. Paul. That one guy seems a little angry, though. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know why everyone always had to share microphones back then. One person just breathing right on top of you. Yeah. I mean, there's plenty of microphones. Yeah. You, know? yeah. you can't give them their own. Especially it was the 80s. The economy was good. Yeah. They could have afforded to. I yeah, I wonder what that was really about. Someone's singing right in your face. Yeah. 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 Musicians, so yeah. they could get them. Yeah. Be a little much. Well, that's the 99.